In my last video, I gave you a lot of information about the diaphragm and the psoas muscle, where they connect in the body and how stress and anxiety affect them and how that physical manifestation of stress and anxiety happens in our body around these muscles. So today, I'm gonna actually show you a few exercises you can do to sort of make that uh, connection a little bit more functional, create some harmony between those two muscles and then strengthen it if you want to. All right, so the only thing you need is yourself, but if you want to add tension into the last exercise, a TheraBand is handy. I've got my mat folded up halfway because I want space on my floor for sliding my feet. So if, you want, if you're on carpet, you don't need anything, but if you're on a wood floor, a pair of socks is really helpful. So you put your tail at the bottom edge of your mat and then lie down in your neutral spine and your neutral pelvis, hip points in line with each other, parallel to the pubic bone, tailbone heavy on the floor, a small space between the lower back and the mat, back of the rib cage, softening down into the floor, neck sloping away, and the back of your head resting down. Place your hands on your rib cage. Four fingers wrapped around the front and thumbs wrapped around the back. And we'll just start with some diaphragmatic breath. So as you inhale, expanding your ribs to the front side and back of your hands. And as you exhale, allow your rib cage to narrow and your diaphragm to dome up into the rib cage. And then repeat that, inhale and exhale. So go ahead and um, try to imagine that jellyfish image of the diaphragm. So letting your ribs widen, let the diaphragm widen and then slide down on your inhales. And then on your exhale, it's like a jellyfish swimming up into your body. One more like this, inhale and exhale. So remembering that the psoas and diaphragm are connected on the spine just above and behind the belly button and then the psoas muscle travels through your torso and connects to your legs so it connects your trunk to your lower body. Maintaining pelvic stability, keep your hands on your rib cage. Pretend your legs start inside your rib cage. Inhale wide into the diaphragm. As you exhale, allowing the diaphragm to dome up and reach back towards your head, slide your right heel forward, lengthening your right leg, pretending your leg starts inside your rib cage, really feel that connection, and then inhale, drag the leg back in. And then other side, exhale, sliding left. So the diaphragm is floating up and reaching back, so you've got this oppositional pull, the diaphragm reaching up and the leg reaching forward and down and bring it back in. Check in with your pelvis, make sure it's not shifting. You're not tilting or dropping your pelvic bones from side to side. Slide that right leg forward and inhale. And exhale, diaphragm domes as you slide the left leg. So this is a simple exercise, right? You're not going to feel a burn or any sort of um, crazy muscular engagement. What, what you're trying to do is create harmony between the breath and the movement of the legs and then drag it back in. Pretending that your leg starts inside your rib cage is a very great image. Really reach that left leg forward and then use your hands to guide you so you can check in with your hips, check in with your ribs, make sure you're breathing properly. Exhale right, inhale back, and then exhale left, inhale back. If you're feeling anxious or stressed, this is a great thing to do. Just lie down on the floor, check in with yourself, Get your breath going and then sliding one leg forward, really exhaling as you do that, inhaling, breathing all the way into the abdomen and then switching sides. Now, if you wanna strengthen that connection a little further, float your right leg into chair, letting your knee hover just above your hip socket. Again, making sure your hip points are square. Inhale into the ribs, pretend your leg starts inside your rib cage. Exhale, stretch that leg forward and inhale, bend. And as you do that, you'll feel a little bit more engagement in the deep abdominal area. Exhale, stretch forward, inhale, bend. You can do any number of these. I'm just gonna do five, but you can do five to 10, it's up to you. And exhale, stretch forward, inhale, bend. Really widening the rib cage. And one more, inhale, bend, and lower down. Let's do the other side. So as I float my left leg up, make sure my hips stay square, pretending my leg begins in my rib cage. Inhale into the left side of my ribs, especially, but all sides. Exhale, stretch the leg forward as my diaphragm reaches up and back. Inhale, bend. Exhale, two. Inhale, bend. Exhale, three. Inhale, bend. 
and four. Inhale, bend, and one more. Inhale, bend, lower the leg. Now, if you wanna add a challenge, grab a TheraBand, lift your right leg in a chair, wrap that band around your right foot, float the knee up, give yourself some tension, but make sure your upper body is still relaxed. Inhale here, exhale, stretch the leg forward, and inhale, bend. You might need your deep abdominals a little bit more. Exhale, stretch forward, inhale, bend. Same principle though. Leg starts inside your rib cage. As your foot reaches forward, your diaphragm reaches back towards your head. You can also focus on widening and narrow the ribs as you inhale and exhale, wrapping the belly around. I'll do one more on this side, but again, you can do 10. Check in with yourself. Try some more, whatever feels good. Left side, inhale here. Exhale, stretch forward, inhale, bend. So just remembering if you're feeling anxious or stressed, sometimes just getting on the floor, connecting to your body in a deep way can really help alleviate it. And one more time. All right. So those are just a few examples of some diaphragm so as connection exercises. If you want more, either reach out to me, join my online uh, subscription site, or follow my YouTube channel.